Blech. Here's the thing, though, and this is important to note. Howie was not stoked about this article when it came out. Howie saw that Legs posted this on Facebook and was not pleased and felt that things were taken out of context. I could see why. Like, these are really just sort of like um, pastiches um, of, of various stories. Johnny Ramone. So here's Howie talking so here's howie pyro talking about his relationship with johnny ramone i became very close with johnny ramone and that was kind of weird because no one else was really friends with him except me and this guy craig who i knew was into movies and johnny had the first beta videotape machine that i had ever seen and all these videos started coming out me and Johnny, and I don't remember how we met really, but I know I went to get their autograph at Free Being Records. I still have the Leave Home album, and like 14 people were there at Free Being Records. It was no big deal to me. It's in my diary. Joey Ramone said I was the first person to ask him for an autograph. At some point, Johnny Ramone and I became friends, probably just from the neighborhood because he lived on 12th Street and we started talking about movies and we really became friends and we stayed friends up until his death, you know, really, really, really close friends. I'd go to Johnny's house every day when I wasn't working and he would save up the movies and we'd watch them together. He had Blood Feast and oh my God, none of us had ever seen these movies because they never played in the Northeast. They only, uh, they were only played in drive-ins in the South. We had been hearing about them and reading about them. All these crazy movies that I had just been fantasizing about. They were the exact same. These movies were a total parallel line to the music and Max's and the rock scene. You know what I mean? I was just an insatiable, uh, sorry, I was just an insatiable knowledge fiend. And I was really into seeing these movies, but that's what we did. We just watched movies all day. Then Johnny would tell me weird stuff about Joey Ramone and we would follow him. I couldn't talk about this when Johnny and Joey were alive. I mean, people were writing books on the Ramones. So I had to skip this whole thing. But Johnny would tell me that Joey was a Siamese twin and we would have to follow him around so we could watch Joey because I wasn't really friends <clears throat> because I wasn't really friends with Joey yet. But you have to picture this. It was like the Three Stooges or the Marx Brothers or something. Me and Johnny, we'd go to the corner and wait for Joey to come out of his building on 11th Street. Johnny and I would act like we were just going to have pizza on St. Mark's, but we were just waiting for Joey to come out of his building, just waiting like spies. And Johnny's like, here he comes, here he comes. And I was like, okay. And Johnny's like, watch, watch, watch. And Joey would do one of his OCD things on the curb. And Johnny would say, see, see, he's a Siamese twin. I told you he's a Siamese twin. The Ramones were so crazy. It was hysterical. Yeah, Joey Ramone had, you know, there was no name for OCD, right? Like there was no name for it at the time, but he had essentially undiagnosed OCD his whole life. And it made diff it made touring difficult for the Ramones at times because he'd have to do all these these rituals. Monty Melnick talks about it in his book on the road with the Ramones. You should all check that book out or check out the interview I did with Monty Melnick. We would go on to the corner and Joey was coming and we would both be like peeking around the corner. Johnny's head in my head, peeking around the corner, keeping track of everywhere Joey went. It was not so Johnny was obsessed with Joey. They were still friends, but he was into the fact that Joey was such a freak. They were friends though. This was before any of that bad stuff. It was just funny. And the bad stuff he's referring to is when uh, Johnny uh, took up with Linda who is Joey's girlfriend, and she eventually would become Linda Ramone. I really don't know about when Johnny started seeing Linda Ramone, uh, when she was still uh, still with Joey. I don't think I did, even though I was really good friends with Linda, separately, even from all of them, actually. I go out to her house in Long Island, and I'm still good friends with her. I don't think I knew, probably because at that point we weren't hanging out as often, me and Johnny. So he's basically saying, I, I didn't know when that whole thing started up. Roxy Ramone, Johnny's girlfriend. I'm not even going to start on her. She was crazy. 
she would sexually attack me when Johnny would go to the bathroom. And I was like, he's in the bathroom. Um, and Johnny did some pretty, uh, pretty unforgivable, uh, irrehensible things to Roxy. Something like, I don't know. He like tied her to a chair. I heard all sorts of horror stories about that. I always love Linda Ramone who became Johnny's wife. I will always defend her to the end. She is true to herself. She has never changed for anyone. Linda is true to her thing. She is exactly the same as she was in 1976. She's super cool and funny, and she's got a mean sense of humor. My whole aesthetic or anti-aesthetic really comes from Johnny Ramone. He told me that his guitar was under his bed, and that is where it stayed. We looked under the bed, and he goes, that's where the guitar stays unless I'm working. I was like, wow. And I'm exactly the same way. I never picked up my bass in the house unless I had to learn something or write something. I have always been that way. That is totally my aesthetic musically. Retiring or whatever you want to call it from music was also very pleasurable for me, like it was for Johnny Ramone. But what's interesting is Johnny Ramone essentially somewhat retired. He lived, he lived eight years after he retired. If he had kept going in the Ramones, would he have lived longer? Did the touring like wear Johnny Ramone out to a point? I think I asked this to to Monty as well. You know, the idea that that Johnny, you know, all those guys that they, you know, they got cancer from just being on the road that like wore them out or something. I don't know. I I, I really don't know. Here's um here's a pic of Howie with uh, Jesse Mallon, probably in the uh, degeneration days, right?